Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's absurdly hot and my brain is not fully functional but I think I'm still capable of creating some art <laughs> even if it's on automatic pilot. These are 36 metallic acrylic colors of which I have mixed quite a few, maybe 12, 14 and used up quite a few and I want to continue to play with them. They're from Arteza and I have the intention of putting the glasses on my face and grabbing some colors that I like and putting them down on the canvas and I'm going to do a swipe. They've been sitting out in the heat and I'm glad to see that they haven't had the uh, Floetrol DecoArt Pouring Medium GAC 800 uh, completely <laughs> uh, rise to the surface. A good thing. So, what else do I want in there? Do I have any of this left? I will probably put... No, I have none of that left. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep working on what I do have left. And, yes, over here. The first thing I want to do grab my new somewhat clean edge catcher and see how far these go. I want to go and merge them that way and then merge them this way and merge them that way and merge them that way and come back and do nothing more than that. Just going to continue putting some more paint down. Whatever colors I happen to have handy. There's another one used up. Usually I would use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, but my finger is attached to the end of my arm and it is a handy tool to have. I'm very pleased with my fingers. They work for me all day long, every day. Same as yours, you've got some too. Anyway, pardon my belligerence and weirdness. I have what I expect to be a swipe cloth, yes I do, that I have gotten wet, made of cotton material, kind of heavy, a little bit, and uh, I am going to go ahead and grab, where's my purple, there we go, my purple. I've never done a swipe with Arteza, to the best of my knowledge. I had some silver and it was Arteza and I wanted it, but I don't see it and I think it's inside. Also is my other gold. So I guess I'm going to improvise and use a little gold here and there. It's time to make some more, I think. And I want a little more drama, so I'm going to throw some purple in there. I didn't put any. Let's see, what else do I have? I have some of this darker gold and it's pretty. It's sort of sort of a very pale copper. And I am going to use the Arteza. It's I think it's called Space Black. And I'd like to tip that so I can get all the rest of that out of there. Actually, I'd like to get all the rest of that out of there any way I can. So that would be the way it is. And that is as much as I'm going to get out of there. I'm also going to move it down to the bottom. Hopefully you can see all that. Over the edge. All this is pearl without a lot of anything else in between. And I think I need to add something else in between just to make a difference. Because even if I was using metallics that I had already had made up, I would probably still want a little bit of black here and there and everywhere to be a catalyst. And this is just another one of those times when I could go, hey, we're done. I'm going to throw some of that in there. It's 
time to make some more gold. I'm going to move some of my colors out of the way. Make sure I have everything I want, and I want some white. Because again, hey, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link that's in blue. Underneath show more, underneath the video. Ah, I wish I had more of that pink. But it's all gone now. I love orange and pink together. I, I think you can probably tell that. Into the bucket. I do reuse my five ounce restaurant containers. I do really love that. <laughs> I could be very happy with just that. So I'm going to bring back my edge catcher. Let all of this go toward it to cover the canvas. Okay, you know what? That end is covered. And I am going to take advantage of the fact that I often still paint. Oh, this is going to be beautiful, I can tell. I'll just fill it right in there. I'll probably use that again in a second. Oh, that is really long. Okay, so we're going to cant that edge catcher. Maybe I won't do a swipe. Maybe I'll just do something else entirely different. <laughs> like what I can see happening now. Or I could do the swipe because it'll be cool. Though I really, really like this. Son of a gun. That would be the second one I did like that today. I gotta get some of this paint off the top corner. And we can, things are selling really nicely. I'll stick a fingerprint over there. Put everything. Merge, meld, cover, whatever you want to call it. Give, it. give the edge catcher a little bit of rock. A rock. A rock to cover the paint. Make the paint cover the edge. Oh, wow. You know, I just really, really like that. <laughs> it makes it nearly impossible for me to want to do anything else to that. You know, maybe I lied. Maybe I will just let this be what it is because I haven't done that before and it's gorgeous in my opinion. So that means check under the video for my Amazon link if you're looking for the OXO omelet turning spatulas or the Princeton Art Tool Cattle and Spatulas or my paint pouring recipe or my Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter links. And Anytime you give me thumbs up and all the videos that you watch add up to helping me stay here and keep doing this and posting a video for you guys every day. I'm going to have a look at all sides of this. I've got a little bit of paint on this end to cover. I didn't do my swipe. Yes, I'm not apologizing for that. This is too cool to let go. The Arteza paints are just gorgeous. And... Uh, and the GAC 800 means I can leave my paint thick and I am going to torch to release any bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to dry my hand off again because it was in the bucket so I don't drop my torch. Today I've already dropped my edge catcher into my painting once. In any case, we got a beautiful edge catcher. Let's try not to drop it. See, beautiful edge catcher, which encouraged me to go ahead and keep this. And maybe I'll just use some more of my paints on another canvas really quickly. You know what else I want to do? I want to go get my go get my Rain-X again that I used earlier on something. I don't actually think it needs it. I'm just going to be really happy with this just the way it is. Because I can be. Let me grab some of that paint and cover that missing spot. That's the best thing about the paint residuals on the edge catcher is you can take them off. Turn that down a little bit. You can take them off with the, with the spatula and use them again. So yeah, no, I'm enamored of this. I don't have to swipe anything to make it beautiful. It's beautiful already. Thank you, Arteza.
for your metallic pearls. I recommend them. I also like what happens when you mix them with other things. The gold was a mica. The black was a half latex, half artist loft. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, hey, thanks guys for all the great comments you leave me all the time. You lift my morale and you lift my spirits and you make me happy. And that makes me love you. And uh, if you want to join a monthly contest and be entered to win one of the five artworks that are being offered on the end screens on the exhibition video this month for 10 by 10s and it'll be different for another month if you're watching this at some other point in time. I always put an exhibition video on the end screens with the prizes so you can tell what you might have a chance to win if your name is drawn in the contest which will be this particular month on July 28th and another month a different time. Um, if you guys shop my Amazon link you help me out. The clothing under the video is clothing that I put my designs on. On Facebook there's Facebook Excuse me. There's Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors. If you join that group, you can see the albums. Uh, if you open photos for um, for the YouTube artworks, wet and dry, and someday I'll catch up. We hope. No, don't stick your skew in there. Obviously, no. Surface got tacky. You can't. Evidently, with Arteza paints, you cannot play after you heat the surface. So. Um, Expressionist Art Studio Appreciation Group is where students go to hang out. And if you look for a Shop Now button on either my Expressionist Art Studio um, Totes and More, or just look for Totes and More, um, you'll find my uh, Fine Art America and my Pixels.com. And there's lots of cool stuff to look at there, even if you don't go there for anything other than your own personal entertainment. But it's all my stuff from a long time. I totally love that. That's just exactly right up my alley. And I love you guys too. Let me see if I'm zoomed in far enough. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I think that's okay. Let's come back a little bit. I'll be cleaning off my tile and maybe I'll be doing another swipe. That is as close as I can get, isn't it? I can't tell there's so much reflection out here. Anyway, I already said who I was. And now I'm going to say, I'll see you guys in another video. Check out the end screens for 725 plus videos. And uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. The longer you watch a video, the more likely you are to help me stay doing this for a living. Or at least, stay doing this. Anyway, bye for now. I keep looking for paint to steal. Because I got a little touch up here and there. But I've got it on my edge catcher. Alright guys, it's too hot. My brain is melted. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.